Hello PlayStation fans! Today we're going to see if it's still possible to fly all the way to the third island using a special flight path to avoid getting four stars in the definitive edition of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Did Rockstar fix anything? The more we play of the new remastered GTA trilogy, the more stuff we find that makes us go, ah! I mean, this wasn't exactly cheap. Anyway, without me getting mad, today we're seeing if there's still a no police flight path to land on the final island in San Andreas without getting that pesky four star wanted level. So first things first, we need to acquire an aircraft. To do this, you'd go to the airport, which sounds pretty obvious, doesn't it really? You'd roll up at the north gates where a silly man tells you that you can't enter without a pilot license. Just like in the original game, you can completely ignore him, as here you're still able to use a vehicle to climb onto this roof and then jump over the fence and into the airport. From here you can then open the gates from the other side and drive right in. Top notch security. In the original game, you could then steal a plane. But in the remake, ah, who are we kidding? It's exactly the same. So go ahead and hop inside before flying northwards. Once you reach the northern shore, you'll need to turn and follow the water channel westwards. You'll get a four star wanted level if you fly too close to the shore, so make sure you're flying over the water at all times. The route you want to follow from here follows the channel up north and over a stationary cargo ship. On this map you can see the areas that will trigger a four star wanted level. If we zoom in on the ship, you'll notice that for some reason there's a gap over it. Just like you do in the original PS2 release, fly north and over the ship. As you can also see on this map, the entire southern shore of Tierra Rabada is also excluded from the dreaded four star zone. Surely they'd fix this. I mean, they've known about it since 2004 for Pete's sake. Oh, come on. What were they doing? So yes, it appears that even in the definitive edition, you can land on this section of the third island without a four star wanted level. From here you can then run to this dumpster where you can acquire the greatest weapon in gaming. From here you have two options. You can either step into the dreaded four star zone and take on law enforcement. Or you can perhaps grab the Maverick helicopter which is parked here on a helipad and use that to fly all the way back to Los Santos, being careful to fly over the cargo ship as you do. Back in Los Santos, you can now start the main story with your new overpowered weapon. I tell you, the game is going to be an absolute breeze with this. Are you surprised with how little appears to have been fixed in the new definitive edition? More like defective edition. Am I right guys? Am I right? Ah. Let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching. Oh, asshole. Get out of the way. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. Cheers. Oh,